Hello, this is Bart Luther, aka The Bicycle Rider on YouTube, and uh, I'm here uh, in Mississippi. We're at a, a little lake called Lake Perry, and we are uh, having a gravel race here next weekend. So uh, um, we are just out there doing 50 miles pre-riding the course. It is a fantastic course. Uh, one, you know, a couple, couple obstacles in the middle with a little bit of mud. But uh, the rest of the course is uh, open and fun and hilly and full of um, all kinds of uh, interesting gravel roads. So uh, um, we had a, a good group come up from Biloxi, Mississippi this morning. Uh, I own a little bicycle shop there called uh, Biloxi Bicycle Works with a friend of mine uh, and business partner, Daniel. And so we, we uh, had a few people come up from Biloxi to ride. We had some people come from Mobile to ride. And we had a few people come from Louisiana to ride. And we had a, we had a blast out here riding gravel. So here's my, you know, carbon fiber specialized Diverge uh, with, with a SRAM Apex. So it's the base model carbon fiber with some Frank Brothers wheels. And it uh, performed, you know, really well performed better than I did. I got dropped. Uh, you know, there were some pretty heavy duty riders out there and, you know, I hung, I hung for a long time, but I, I don't have a whole lot of my base fitness at the moment, but, uh, I sure had fun out there. And even, you know, even when you get dropped sometimes, if you're in a, a beautiful place, um, it doesn't matter because you can look around at the scenery and you're still on your bike, fresh air. So, so don't, don't think that you don't want to do a gravel race because it's, um, it's more than just about racing. It's, it's, it's uh, camaraderie and being out there with the gravel family and being around beautiful, you know, just beautiful scenery. So, you know, I don't know really how well this camera picks up, but we've got, a, we got an awesome lake. Um, looks like over here in the foreground, I haven't been there yet, but there's a, a bathroom and a campground and some picnic tables and a pavilion. So uh, this is just some of the scenery you know, that you see out here when you're gravel racing. Real nice, you know, real nice place. So I'm gonna get on my bike and take a little bicycle around, uh, bicycle ride around, and because I might I might end up camping here Friday night, the race is Saturday. That way I get some, uh, get, get some good sleep. Um, I don't know if you can see in the foreground there, but that's my uh, my little transit camper that I built out of a, a Ford Transit. And it's got a full size bed in the back and a couple little amenities. So I might put it to, put it to good use this weekend, this, this coming weekend. All right, I'm gonna take a little uh, bicycle ride around the around the lake and uh, show you guys around. All right, I'm gonna get on my bike and ride around this lake. We'll see how good this uh, this little gimbal on this camera does. So anyway, we're gonna kind of ride down the the side of the lake here and use my front brake as I'm, I'm cruising down. But uh, this looks like a nice, real nice little lake. Uh, looks like it's got a little boat ramp and a little boat dock, some fishing spots. I can imagine, you know, bass fishing or, or whatever is pretty good in this this little area here. So this is uh, this is the lake. Now let's see if I can make it up the hill. Switch a gear here. Oh, it helps if you get in the right gear, which I wasn't. But if you could have seen the ride we just did, it was uh, pretty hardcore, and I'm lucky to even be on my bike at the moment. So speaking of bikes, I am riding a, a specialized Diverge with a Future Shock, and I think after 50 miles, if it wasn't for the Future Shock, I'd really be having a hard time at the moment. But a lot of people ask me about that Future Shock, and just having a little bit of suspension to, you know, mitigate the the rough roads out there, really does make you feel good. So anyway, this looks like a looks like a bathroom that you can use here. Got a couple picnic tables, and uh, looks like we've got some some camping spots here too. So anyway, there's my little camper right there. I don't need a full camping spot. I can boondock in that thing because I've I've got a little solar generator and a couple little amenities. But this looks like it's the uh, entrance to the campground here. So let me let me cruise down here and just see what we have. Ah, looks like there's some nice little camping spots down in here. Oh, this looks good. Let's go up the hill here. Looks like full hookup too, water and electricity. Wow, this is nice. This is kind of like a little hidden gem. Um, we're up here towards Hattiesburg, Mississippi, up towards Camp Shelby. 
and that's where the gravel race is going to be but this is actually called Lake Perry and I forget the name of the little town that yeah, I think it's Bendale Bendale or something like that um, but what a what a nice little hidden gem of a campground very kind of low-key not super fancy I'm sure they don't care if you put up a tent or have a little van or you know or a nice camper if I can negotiate all these corners holding a camera oh slid out in some sand there yeah what a cool place man look they got a little campsite right here right here by the water where you can put your canoe picnic table I don't know I think this is uh this is a pretty sweet place so anyway this is uh Bart with the bicycle rider doing a little something different I know we do a lot of um, you know bicycle reviews and gear reviews but uh, we actually do ride bicycles and that's how we we uh, you know we test our gear so anyway this is probably where we're gonna be camping next weekend a little place called Lake Perry and you can see there's a gentleman out there fishing looks like a dam in the back and this is this is my first time here but it's definitely not going to be my last so uh from lake perry in you know mississippi here's the bicycle rider over and out